Hi, right, welcome to my channel. My name is Frank Walters, and today we're going to be doing the color splash effect in Adobe Photoshop. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to do the color splash effect using two different methods. The first one is to use a white layer mask, and the second one is to make a selection. So let's go ahead and get started. Come over here to the Layers panel, and I want you to right-click or press Control click if you have a Mac mouse and you come down to duplicate layer. You can also just press OK. You can also press Command or Control J to duplicate your layer. And now we want to add a, an, an adjustment. So you want to do black and white. And then come over to the layers. And whenever you add a black and white adjustment layer to a to the layers panel, it comes with a built-in white layer mask. So all we have to do to bring back the color of the original background layer is to paint in the color black. So come over here to the tools and click on the paintbrush tool. You can also press the letter B on your keyboard. And then you come over here to the color studio at the top here. The foreground is black and the background is white. If you had a different color, you could press the D key on the keyboard and it would bring these colors back to white and black or black and white. And then to alternate, the, this is the foreground, this is the background. To alternate those colors, you just press the X key. X, 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 okay. So you want the black color to be the foreground and look at the layers panel again. Make sure that the white layer mask is selected and now we can paint our car. So a color splash is really cool because the color splash effect, because it makes the audience uh, key in immediately to what the, what the person wants you to see. So in this case, it's gonna be the front car. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna lower the width of our brush by pressing the left bracket key. You can see this the this is the right bracket key. How the, see how the paintbrush gets bigger? And this is the left bracket key. See how the paintbrush gets smaller? And we want it the size of the airfoil. And also gonna make the image bigger by using my trackpad with two fingers and pushing the fingers outwards from each other. Okay. Now we want to use the left bracket key to make this smaller again. Um, that's good right there. If you come up here to the tool options area, you, it says 20. So this is, let's, let's click on that. So 20 PX is the size of the brush. Just click on the image again to make this window disappear. So now what we want to do is that we're going to paint the border of the car. So we're going to click one time here, click, come over to the other side of the airfoil. Hold down the shift key so it will create a straight line and then press click. So now we have this line uh, created here. And now we're just gonna paint the outline of the car. Instead of painting freehand with our mouse or if you're using a stylus with a stylus, we're just gonna use this, this trick of holding down the shift key to create straight lines. So up here where you, you see my uh, cursor, click one time. Hold down shift, click here. See how the blue came back? Don't worry about doing the mirror because it's black. It's not gonna come back uh, in uh, any color. And okay, because we clicked here, so click here again, and then come over here, hold down shift, and then hold down shift for the rest of the time that we do the border. So just click here, come over here to the other side, press click, come up, press click, come over, press click, and one more time up here, press click. So now we have the border of the car selected. Now instead, we could paint the rest of the car if we wanted to, but, there, but there's a faster way and I think it's a lot more fun. If you go to your keyboard and, and hold down the Alt Option key and click one time on the white layer mask over here in the layers panel, you will see that the white layer mask now is, 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 is on our entire screen here, which is what we want. So now all we have to do is paint inside of our border here. So let's make the paintbrush width bigger by pressing the right bracket key. 
There you go. And then click one time, hold down shift, click, hold down shift, click. So you just, you can just fill this in however you want. I like using the shift key. You don't have to use the shift key. You can paint it if you want, but I prefer the shift key. Just, it's just for me a lot easier. And then there's no hurry if you make a mistake, it's okay. So I did make a mistake. There's a there's a black dot over here. What that's going to do is in that area, that black dot is going to show color. So we don't want that. So let's come over here to the color studio. <clears throat> and now we want to change these colors. Do you remember what key on the keyboard we have to press to change the foreground and the background color? It's the X key. So click on the X key. And now the white color is now the foreground which is the color of our paintbrush so just come up back here over here to the image and cover that up that's it now let's come over here to the layers panel and we're going to press alt or option on the keyboard and click right here on the white layer mask and our image comes back now let's let's center the image on our screen by pressing command or control zero and there you are there's the color splash effect so that's the first method, the color splash effect, uh, using the white layer mask. So now we're going to delete these two top layers, and we're going to start over again. And we're going to show you how to do the color splash effect using a selection. So the top layer is selected. Let's click on the, on the next little top layer is selected, selected. Hold down the shift key and click on this next layer. So now they're both selected. And now let's click on the trash can, and now they're gone. This is our original picture. So now let's start over again. The way we start over is that we want to duplicate our layer. Do you remember how to do that? If you remember how to do that, go ahead and duplicate the layer right now, and I'll wait two seconds. Okay, you press Control or Command J, or you come over to the layer, you right click, or on the mouse, uh, an Apple's mouse, you control click, and then you press duplicate layer. But we don't want to do that anymore. Click on the top layer so it's selected. Come over here to the tools, and we're going to use the um, this button over here, the selection tool, the quick selection tool. And you want to come up here to the options. You want to make sure it's on add. Yours might be on new. That's okay, but we want it on add. Now let's come over here to the, to the picture. I zoom in to the picture again by uh, moving two fingers outwards. And now we're going to paint the car to select it. So just start painting. And if you release your mouse and you have to, you know, like we didn't get it all, because the mode is on add, all we got to do is continue to work on it. So do your best job as you can. Don't worry about if it goes on the ground. I'll show you how to get rid of that in just a moment. Again, don't worry about doing the mirrors. Make that selection there. Come up here. Let's zoom in some more. Let's paint this by the window. Let's get the airfoil. Perfect. Airfoil. Perfect. Um, how does it look? Over here, some white. There you go. Some stuff here. Oops, that's a mistake. So now the selection looks pretty good except for a couple areas. Like over here is, is selected where we don't want it, and over here is selected where we don't want it. So all we have to do, we're not going to go up here to the um, – the tool options area and click on subtract. We're just going to hold down the alt option key and then we can so hold down the alt option key and then paint and drag inside of this area and it will get rid of the selection. Over here, click one time. Oh, it didn't do a very good job. Let's come back here and paint it back in there. Paint that. Okay, so you can see some parts like over here. This is not selected that we need it to be selected. And this is, we don't want this selected. So what we're going to do is that we're going to come up here and use this other tool, 
the uh, lasso tool. So click on that. Come up here to the modes, okay? So this first one, I'll show you. It's a new selection. If you hover your mouse over these, it tells you what they are. Add to selection, subtract from selection, and intersect. So we want it on add. And again, if we want to do the opposite, we just hold down the alt option. So this first part here by the other car in the background, with the, I think it's the license plate. We don't want that. So hold down the alt option key and then click and drag that area, come up and then release your mouse button. And that area is now cut out. And we want this selected. So here you just click and drag down here. You come back into the selection area and from the starting point of this lasso semicircle and where it is right now, when we release the key, the software will create a straight line and add that part of the selection to our main selection. You see that? That's good. So let's come back over here. So we want this part selected. So let's zoom in a little bit more. So just start here and then paint upwards or draw upwards. Come into the selection. And then from this point right here to our beginning point, it creates a straight line. You release your mouse's button, and now that part is selected. So it's perfect. Good job. If you did that, good job. Okay, so we don't want this part down here. Let's not use the lasso tool. Let's use our selection brush tool again. It's on add, so hold down the alt option key and get rid of that. And then we have to paint this back in so it's a little tricky you have to go back and forth so it's a good practice of using the alt option key to to subtract it and then add it so now our selection looks pretty good <clears throat> don't worry about the mirrors here so now what we want to do to finish this effect is that our car is selected, but we don't want the car selected. We want the rest of the image selected because we're going to make the rest of the image black and white. So if you know what to do, we come up here to the menu bar and pr press select and then inverse. And over here are the shortcuts. This is the shift key. This is the control or the command key. And this is the letter I. So click on that. So now our selection is now off of the car and it's well it's on it's on the car but it's on the border of the car and between the border on the of the car to the border of the image. Okay? So we've inverted our pixel selection. So now we come over here to the adjustments and click on black and white. And there you go. There's our color splash effect. So now that's it. So now you've learned how to do the color splash using two different methods. The first method is to use a white layer mask, which is my personal favorite because I think it's kind of like photo magic to bring the color back. I just I just love painting it back in. And then the second method is to use the selection brush tools, the lasso tool, and also to hold down the alt option key to make the positive mode turn into negative. So hopefully those are some things, those are some skills that you learned today doing this uh, really cool effect. So that's all we have today. Um, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. I promise I'll make more videos. I'm trying to do one video a week and that's all we got today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention and bye-bye.